All right, today I'm at I'm back at the pig port. <laughs> I'm at Justin Rhodes pig port here, which we've been working on. See how big these pigs grew. So now they can pretty much see over this. Uh, they were much smaller than this a few weeks ago. <laughs> so what I'm doing today is putting on gutters on this pig port and we need to divert the water out away from the pigs. And the idea for this port is we don't need inside of here to get wet or as little as wet as possible. Doing this pig port, you know, this is something that's there's no directions for. I mean, yes, it is a car shelter, uh, but as far as converting it into something for the pigs and raising pigs, there's no directions. And there's also no directions on putting a gutter on a carport. All right, we're figuring something out. You gotta go through the emotions. It's like a puzzle that you need to kind of figure out, figure it out visually. Like I'm a very visual person, so I need to like put it together, take it apart, play with it, you know. And that's uh, that's the fun part. I guess I could watch some YouTube videos, but who has time for that? I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to watch YouTube. <laughs> So we want the gutter to go underneath this, if possible. This gutter clip, um, I'm gonna install that first. And it goes just underneath it, I think. I think it should be okay. Um, but I need to drill into this. Screws are self-tappers, so you don't need a pre-drill. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? All right, because we have this outlet right here where the drain is gonna come out of, uh, I can't put one of those clips right there because it's in the way. So I'm gonna have to drill into the sidewall there with my self-tapper screws. And they also have a washer on them. And again, this is, this is a pig shelter. <laughs> uh, there's no directions for this. There's not special clips that you could buy for a pig shelter. <laughs> So you have to uh, improvise, you know, you have to make do and, and see how you can modify certain things to fit whatever it is that you're doing. And also on a gutter, you want it to have a slight angle to it so that the water comes down. Now we have to divert the water that in first. Next is to cock, next is to cock the seams. All right, let's do the other side now. Gutters are done. I need to install a latch. I needed something more heavy duty. <laughs> These pigs are getting bigger. All right, 
All right, the latch is done. A little bit more, a little bit more heavy duty. Yeah, we had a we had a little toy latch, <laughs> had a little toy latch on there. That wasn't gonna work with these these pigs, man. What's up, guys? <laughs> Living the life. I put a hook on there, kind of like a lock. That's like a little bit better latch, I think. And then on the gutters, so we have the downspout. And then it diverts the water out. And then same thing on the other side. The gutter. Downspout. Now we may put some uh, rain barrels at the ends here. I think that's another video. <laughs> but for now, we at least have the water diverting away uh, from the pig port. And that's the goal. Is try to keep it dry as much as possible. All right, now I'm making a drying rack. I'm using two old screen doors and some uh, scrap two by fours and see if I can make an onion and garlic drying rack. All right, doesn't look like we're gonna have enough of this mesh uh, for this other screen door, uh, but I'll put that on top to show you, kind of show you how it's gonna look like. You know, nothing fancy. This is a screen door. That's gonna be covered with mesh. The other screen door is already covered with mesh. Uh, two by fours. For the minimal of materials I had, I think it, I think it came out pretty good. Was reading the back of these, which one's this one? These dragon tongue beans, and they are not climbing beans; they are bush beans. Oh man! So we have a a cattle panel tra trellis available for something, and I don't know. I mean, we could put it anywhere. I mean, we've got stuff that's climbing, like those pumpkins are going out of control. And today I showed you just what I did today. <laughs> Every day is just a little bit different, but no matter where we're at during the day, we always end up in the garden. Still no tomatoes. Our garden is slowly producing. The girls picked out five pounds of zucchini today. And look at this. This is a volunteer plant. Not sure if it's a zucchini, maybe a pumpkin. Meat birds. Six weeks old now. Six weeks old, still going strong. What are you picking, Penelope? Dragon tongue beads. Let's see them. Whoa. Uh, even if I'm somewhere else, and Lorraine and the girls, they're somewhere else. They're somewhere else. Um, we always manage to make our way back to the garden. We're picking off bugs. What are you doing? I am picking off all these little golden eggs they won't hatch. We're pulling weeds, we're harvesting food, <laughs> and we're staying on top of our little homestead here. Get up. 